The Kardashians <laughs> versus Black China. And I'm standing here with the beautiful Haley from Fox News. She's been inside the court today. She has all the details and she can tell you that Kim Kardashian took the stand today. What did she say here? First of all, I have to say, you want to take my job? I've got a live shot at five. You're doing oh. so good. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So Kim took the stand and she was only questioned by Black China's attorney. So Radio talk show host Golden Girl joins us now. Golden Girl, what are your instincts about this missing case, first of all? You know, because very few of these things end up happily. Well, it's very disturbing. The call was very disturbing. And I was surprised and shocked that he even called. But it started because uh, Latoya's father had phoned in just doing a plea with the city for help and assistance. After he heard that call, I had listeners call in. The listeners called in and they said that they felt like he, the father, may have had something to do with it. Ooh, the queen, Miss Demina, yes, she is definitely going to be here in just a few minutes. The crowd is right there. Hollywood Boulevard is popping right now because Missy is getting the star. It's like golden now. We remember on the day of the verdict, you had a hard time. You were so overcome with emotion, yes. you fainted. Yes. You're still standing today, so that's good news. Yes, it is. I fainted on the day of the verdict. I was overwhelmed. I was, you know, I really went crazy because I was so scared that he wasn't going to be convicted. Um, I fainted that day, but I made sure that I promised everybody I wouldn't faint today. He needs to serve the four years. We can never bring Michael Jackson back, but at least we can feel a little bit, just a little bit of justice is done. And, you know, I, I'd really be glad, I had, hate to say it, when they put him into regular population as opposed to giving him special treatment and services at the prison that he doesn't need. Thank you so much, Golden Girl. Go ahead. The Golden Girl is all over your box. I'm standing here right here in front of L.A. Superior Court. We are waiting to find out what's going on with the Kardashians. And Fox has allowed me to just stand in for a second until the beautiful reporter comes out. But I'm going to let you know right now that $108 million is on the line. The Kardashians have testified most of. Today, there's more testimony that's coming. And I'm going to give you all the details in just a little bit. Golden Girl is right here all over your box live in L.A. right here at the Kardashian trial hanging out with Fox. Shout outs to Fox. Awesome. Yes, you will hear tonight from one of the number one hip hop sons, LA's boy. I'm talking about none other than Ice Cube. Yes, Cube. Cube is going to talk to us tonight. Of course, you know he has done movies, he has done the rapping, he is a super producer. He has a lot going on, and he's going to be here tonight not to tell you about the movies, but to tell you about what he does in the bedroom. Mm hmm. Position. I thought they was. Basically still in my mood. You know what I mean? I'm about to sue a few of them. Well, okay. I'm like, yo, that's my position. Okay. Motherfucker in my position. Okay. And <laughs> what's your favorite position? Uh oh, man, my favorite position. Oh yeah, Hollywood's black Barbie Golden Girl.